Happy Construction Safety Week, friends. This is Grant Hagen from Drone Deploy Strategic Product Consultant here to talk to you about one of the best features in Drone Deploy that happens to be probably one of the safest features in helping us all have a much safer job site, and that is facade inspection. And so uh, a lot of folks don't know about this feature, which uh, is really the reason why we're wanting to highlight it here in Construction Safety Week. It is probably one of the greatest features as it relates to increasing worker safety. Uh, we all know how dangerous job sites can be, especially as it relates to inspecting facades on swing stages or from man lifts. And so what better week to highlight one of the best features in Drone Deploy that is facade inspections. Uh, just want to note up front, this is not a full-blown demo. We are going to go through a couple different features to have you have a high-level overview of how this feature works. But if you have more questions, we'd love to have you reach out uh, to find out how we can make your job sites more safe uh, through facade inspections and the other features within Drone Deploy. But we want to give you a very high level of what this feature is, how it works, how you can start using it tomorrow on your job sites to have a much safer construction worker safety. And so facade inspections really broken down into three different components. That is vertical flight. You can pre-program these flights to happen uh, to happen on a repeatable and scalable uh, format. And then we're going to take those photos that the drone was taking and reconstruct those to be able to navigate those uh, very easily. We're going to then be able to tag issues of where we're seeing different deficiencies or defects in those photos and then again we want to report that out to something that's actionable to give to someone to go and actually correct that action so very basic uh, the things that we wanted to highlight here is that this is going to feel very similar to other drone deploy features very simple very intuitive uh, very easy to use because that is what we are known for here at drone deploy and so even as that relates to vertical uh, flight features uh, very similar to what you're probably going to experience with the mapping features as well Really, the only thing that's changing is really you're giving it different parameters around that flight of the building height. Maybe if you want it to go from down to up or up to down. And so that's really what you're going to see different here. Uh, a lot of the same advanced settings that you can dive into and really dial in what type of inspection or how you want to perform this inspection. Uh, you can create these and then re-perform them just like you would on the mapping side of it as well. Really, we're just taking that same mapping interface that you're used to from going top down and then going from uh, bottom up on a vertical sense. And so... After that, you can see here, really, you're going to be able to see all those same functions just like you would in a mapping mission when you're out in the field capturing. Uh, again, ability to override at any time. Uh, also, the ability to daisy chain on with other flights. The key here is, again, being able to reproduce these is really, really a key value here. Uh, imagine you want to do these at different phases of uh, some of the facade being installed or you're wanting to do it uh, over multiple months within the construction schedule. Uh, really nice to be able to break those down into either individual facades or you can do it uh, across the whole building that you're trying to inspect by daisy chaining on different flights along the way. So again, very similar to what you're used to in your uh, mapping missions, but wanted to highlight that here. And then what do we do with those? Again, we're gonna take those photos and reconstruct them in the upload phase, just like you're used to on the mapping side. Uh, this is where Drone Deploy works its magic in giving you the ability to visually recreate uh, the building that you're trying to inspect. And so this is where the magic is happening. This is the best part of where I think the facade inspection feature gives so much value to our customers. Uh, what you're seeing here is the map projections, which we'll go into this on an actual demo. Um, but what you're seeing here is where the photos were taken from. And we'll highlight a little bit about the legacy method of how we do inspections. If you don't pre-program a flight or if you are going through and just navigating through those photos, it can be really challenging, right? Because you may lose context of where that photo was taken. You may be too zoomed in uh, to want to really highlight something, but not zoomed out enough to know where that fully is in context. And so that's really where I think this feature brings so much value is that you're being able to see where your issues are being noted at uh, while also being able to see the full high res image of what was taken from that inspection. And so we'll dive into that specifically into the demo itself, but ultimately, what do we wanna do with this? We wanna get this into actionable uh, reporting to go and give to someone to go and actually act upon. And so love the capabilities here on the reporting side of it to show you where that issue is at in context of the whole building, uh, but then also being able to zoom in. That's really key here because again, we want to focus on 
having the ability to see what the issue might be. A lot of these facade inspections that we do, which many of you are familiar with, that fine level of detail is really taking advantage of the camera's capabilities on the drone uh, to be such a high res camera. And so we don't want to lose that from having the context view while missing out on the zoomed in view of the detail specifically. So just to summarize this, I love this quote from Rogers O'Brien, a great customer here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, they're really just explaining of how much this has truly transformed construction safety. Again, uh, facade inspections are just such a dangerous uh, part of construction. And so any way that we can leverage technology to increase the ability to enhance uh, construction safety is just so key here. And so I love uh, just the simplicity of removing someone from a hazardous situation is really where this is increasing construction safety for a lot of our construction customers. And so what we wanna do here is again, dive into what this actually looks like in a project. Uh, I hope this has stirred some curiosity, but let's get into what this actually looks like and how we got to that point. And so again, we're breaking it up into the fly, upload, explore, and report sections up here. So again, uh, the fly component, really you're just identifying the facade that you want to inspect. You can go in here to your advanced features and really see where a lot of these fine tuning things are. If I go to advanced here, again, you can select from down to up or up to down. Those are the types of features that again, you're probably used to on the mapping side of it uh, while you were doing various mapping missions. And so uh, next we're gonna go to upload here, very similar to what you're used to before, but really what I wanted to highlight here is just the legacy method of this, right? I think we're all familiar with going through hundreds of different media and photos that come from the drones itself. Uh, but I, this is the legacy method of doing it from, a, uh, inspecting from a drone and really not reconstructing these into anything that we're able to see in context of where these are happening. And so the challenge here, again, these are the high res images, the full, full res images of what you see coming off the drone, but it's really hard to know where these are at in context to where uh, the issues are at. And so just wanted to highlight again, this is what people are, what we're all used to before this feature happened. And I think this is really what has made this feature become so popular is how do we take these while still having the full res capability to zoom in and zoom out and bring that into something that we can quickly and easily navigate in. And so what we're going to do here is move over into this explore tab. I've uploaded a couple different facades. So you can break down your structure into a specific facade of one elevation, or you can break it down into uh, the entire building. There's pros and cons to both, which we can hit on in a different video if helpful. Uh, but for this purpose, I'm gonna go to the full reconstruction of the uh, building itself. And so here, once we jump in, this is where the magic is happened. So again, that reconstruction of all those photos, uh, if you really wanna see those photos, uh, you can turn on this map photo icon here. And that's really where you can see all of where these images projections were taken from. So any dot that you see here is a photo that was taken in its context of where it was captured. Why is this important? Uh, really because when we go back to that Windows Explorer tab, the reality of what we're dealing with here is that now I can go and see what that image was specifically just by clicking on it. And this is the full res image, just as if you were looking at it in the Windows Explorer view. And so what you can do here is you can start to zoom in and see, wow, this is the full high res HD image that you were pulling from your drone. And now you're able to mark it up and put context of issues on it. So I'm gonna go and grab that issues tab, select the issue uh, area that I wanna note. I'm gonna change the observation type. Again, this is a full tutorial, but you can see some of the options that are available here. I'm going to label this as, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's grab some incomplete work. Doesn't look like it's uh, maybe all the way done with needing to grind or smooth that out. Uh, I can give a quick summary here, grind out the excess concrete. Severity level, again, you can put these in if you want to. Uh, we're gonna say this is a three. Don't know how much that may cost, but let's just put $1,000 to it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. Procore users, obviously you can see here, if you wanna connect this to a Procore project, that obviously uh, is able to do. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. A couple things that are happening here. So again, this is the full res image, and I can go on my keyboard here and start to move down through other photos. So you can see as I'm going down and scaling the building, you can see that issue up here was tagged and saved to that location which is really handy, right? Because as you're going through and making these issues, you're going to want to see where the issues were uh, tagged at. And so if I want to, again, I can zoom in, high res image, just like what you would expect. You can almost read the labeling on the window, which is incredible. 
And again, we're gonna zoom back out to go and use the arrow cursor on my keyboard, or I can use the arrow cursor right here as well to move to different parts of the building and the different photos. This is crazy. This totally changes the way that we do inspections in construction because again, the viewer is really where the magic is happening here. Again, you can go and do all this in just the legacy method of going through Windows Explorer, but as I'm sure some of you are thinking, much easier, much uh, uh, better to navigate around and see where um, your photos were taken from. So I'm gonna close out of that photo specifically. Now I'm gonna zoom back out and again, really awesome here. It's going to tag and keep where that issue is at. Again, you're going to want the zoomed in issue of where that's happening. And you're going to want the full context of where that's happening on the building. And so, so much stuff to go over here, but really what we're going to do now is jump over into the report tab. Uh, again, this is where we're going to start to turn that into actionable information to the folks uh, who may actually go and inspect this uh, visually or uh, from an actual piece of equipment to go and correct. So I'm going to click on issue report over here. And then I'm gonna change my issue type to this top one here that says high rise complete. This is awesome. This is I think where the reporting comes in really handy is that again, you can see where that issue, it created a number for it in context of where it's at on the building. It gave me the zoomed in view of what that issue was because obviously you can't see it from the context. And then it kept all the information of what we were saying for moderate, maybe the type, the severity, when it was created, the status of it this is the best, like this is the best part of this whole process to I think give us a lot of context into that full workflow from flying to uploading to exploring to then reporting. And so hopefully this was helpful for you. I really want to uh, thank our folks over at Rogers O'Brien for this quote. It's really fun to see the value of where this is happening at. And so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to find other ways to help you increase worker safety on your job site. And again, happy Construction Safety Week. We look forward to seeing you in future videos down the road. Thanks.